Today we're making a dream come true and we're taking you along with us. Today we're going to La, La Feria, Feria de Cali. Cali. Feria de Cali. Cali is the world's salsa capital of the world. <laughs> it's the number one place to dance salsa and it's I think the world's biggest salsa festival, right? I'm not sure about that but it looks pretty big so I'm gonna say yeah. Okay we're heading to the main event. Today's the first day the Feria starts Christmas Day. 25th of December through the 30th of December. We bought tickets for 300,000 Colombian pesos which we hear from others uh, it's really, really high, so I'm not sure what the prices have been previous years. And that includes entrance to the main events, the Salsodromo. This is our section, we're sitting in section 16, and the line is super long. We bought our tickets at masboletos.com. You can either buy your tickets around town or online at masboletos.com, and you purchase it by section. The event starts at 4 and ends at 11, and I hear that it's some sort of big parade. I honestly don't know what's going to be going on today, so I'm ready to be surprised. There is one thing I can tell you what to expect, and that's the dance, baby girl. The dance. Even the police jams out in the feria. And of course, the National Guard. The Feria de Cali is the city's most anticipated event of the year, where Caleños come together to celebrate life joy and their cultural identity the best way they know how with salsa but the festival's origin story is the complete opposite in 1956, Cali suffered a massive explosion that claimed the lives of 4,000 Caleños. The city fell into an economic recession and an emotional depression. The first Feria de Cali was held two years later as an effort to lift people's spirits and economic conditions. The festival became a symbol of transformation and resilience, and today it's known as one of the most prominent cultural festivals in Colombia. <laughs> This year, Cali celebrates Feria number 65. Over the course of the six days of the festival, there were 82 events, 47 stages, and 15,000 participating artists. Even though salsa is indispensable to this festival, it wasn't always that way. Salsa music became popular in Cali in the 1980s, more than 10 years after the first feria. The arrival and the rise of salsa in Colombia is actually a really fun story, but that might be a story for another time. So let us know in the comments if that's something that you'd like to see in a future video. This event is called the Salsodromo, and it's the main and opening event for the Feria de Cali. The Salsodromo turns 15 this year, so the theme, of course, is quinceañera. The Salsodromo showcased over 2,400 dancers to over 60,000 spectators and included three headlining salsa bands, Salsa en Tacones, Orquesta Guayacán, and Grupo Nietzsche. Y celebración social. Hoy son 15 años de homenaje a la tradición e identidad popular que han puesto tantas veces a Cali en la escena internacional. Podemos dedicarte una canción.
attention to this one. This dance number pays tribute to the theory of how salsa music arrived to Colombia. Let's see if you can make out the story. Here we see the sailors, and you can't see it in the frame, but dancers in the front are holding props to show you that they're on a ship. By the way, the music they're dancing to here is not salsa. This next song might be. But it's hard to tell because if you listen closely, it sounds like it's being sped up. Though I promise we didn't speed up any of this footage, what you see here is the actual speed of dancing. We can't show you the entire performance due to copyright issues with the music, but our Patreon members will have access to the complete clips without ads. Patreon members are supporters who help us continue making videos, so we reward them with exclusive content and extras. Thank you so much, Patreon friends. Check out our memberships and join us on Patreon. No, no, no. The Candela Dance Company was one of our favorite performances. These amazing dancers recreated the 2020 Super Bowl halftime show with JLo and Shakira.
We love that Super Bowl halftime show because it introduced us to Latin music genres we didn't know about, like Champeta from Colombia. We even hopped on the Champeta challenge trend. Another highlight tonight was seeing Orquesta Guayacán, whose songs we love to dance to. to watch it's totally free and not only is it free people gather and have parties so I don't know if we made the right decision today no, no I was nice sure I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> I'm kidding the so cool no, thing it's too not... is that the performers perform on both sides they of the street do. so you get to see it from both ends the only the general admission is a little bit further than the benches but the by general admission we... you mean the public the free I mean, area, yeah the, the, free the area. public free area is uh, a little bit further from the performances but but it's still really fun, like on our side where we were sitting, well, we had the privilege of having seats, we had access to toilets, 
so it was just a little bit more comfortable for us and it was we were much closer to the performers yeah. but now that we've done it once if we were to do this again i would totally be down for that party side on this yeah, public street so there's pretty much parties in every corner that you see our friends danny and gabby told us about the la calle del swing that good spot for an after party it's in front of the mulato cabaret a famous theater here in cali party's looking good already After a night of dancing and partying, these things hit the spot. They call them chuzos here in Colombia, but I call them paletas de pollo. This is my for third one. <laughs> day two and we're excited because it's La Feria del Pueblo. Last night we had to call it in early because this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Five days of pure salsa from the morning you wake up to all the way to 3 4 in the morning. So let's see what today has in store. Ready. Our fuel today is chicha, which we got at the Mercado. It's a fermented drink with uh, chicha, Pineapple. which is like a rice, uh, not a rice, a uh, maize. maize it's yeah. a grain. Pineapple, it reminds me a lot of pulque, it's fermented and the longer you leave it fermenting the higher the alcohol content So when we bought it, we let it ferment a little bit more and not only are we getting all our B vitamins, probiotics We're also. getting a nice buzz <laughs> Today's main event, Fiesta de mi Pueblo, is another parade but the theme today is Cali, it's culture, it's people So I'm excited to see all the pride that Cali has. I can see that everybody here is super proud to be caleño. Porque Cali es Cali y lo demás es loma. So while yesterday's parade was all about salsa, today's is about celebrating the diverse cultural identities in Valle del Cauca, the state and region that Cali belongs to. This is the chicken dance at another level. Check this guy, Sedona. that they have here just in El Valle del Cauca. This parade is just on the municipalities here and there's so many different colors, culture, amazing. Urban legend. La Cosquillona. Cosquillona. but there's some creepy stuff here in this pueblo. I 
was aware that Colombia as a country was diverse in its ethnicities and culture, but it was amazing to see just how much a variety of culture exists within just the 42 municipalities of Valle del Cauca. This one that's coming up has a lot going on. event we attended at the Feria de Cali was the Super Concierto, Cali's biggest concert every year. Doors opened at 4 p.m. with openers, headliners started at 7 p.m. and went on until 5 a.m. A super concert indeed. We arrived just in time for Victor Manuel, whom Kevin is a big fan of. Then came Maluma Baby. Silvestre Dangon is a huge star in Colombia for his modern twist on Vallenato music. This man puts on an impressive show. It's a bummer that he plans to retire soon. Then came El Gran Combo, an OG salsa band from Puerto Rico. Pipe Bueno is a Colombian singer most known for singing Mexican ranchera music. And yes, this is in fact very popular in Colombia right now. Okay. 
4 a.m. and I'm wishing I had Kevin's energy, but I could not stay out any longer. So we missed out on Vicente Fernandez Jr. We were so tired that we forgot to film an outro for this vlog. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Se bañan.